So we have been assembling the universe like a Lego thing so far, starting with those atoms uh, uh, that we saw in the periodic table, making up the elements, how they can uh, interact, share, mold, uh, share electrons or swap electrons, that sort of thing, uh, and uh, how the molecules that uh, result from that uh, behave. Now we'll be talking about chemical reactions, which of course is the uh, uh, center of the uh, interest of chemists. Chemical reactions, uh, by definition, are when two molecules or atoms come together. At that point, they're called reactants, the reacting things. And they either break uh, a, a chemical bond, a covalent bond or an ionic bond. They either break one or they form a new chemical bond or both. So it's, uh, chemical reactions are all about the making and breaking of uh, chemical bonds. And uh, we'll be talking primarily about the making and breaking of covalent bonds, uh, which is the type of chemistry that organic chemists and biochemists are uh, particularly interested in. So uh, that's the definition of a chemical reaction. And the uh, chemical reactions that actually happen in, in the world around us are, some of them are quite obvious. Uh, and uh, they, they're going on in the uh, engines, of, in the internal combustion engines of our vehicles. Uh, they go on in the engines of, uh, of uh, 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 rockets or missiles. Uh, for instance, rockets and missiles generally have uh, tanks of liquid oxygen and tanks of uh, liquid hydrogen. They mix the two together, uh, in, and, and that's an explosive mixture, hydrogen, uh, molecular hydrogen, molecular oxygen will react quite uh, vigorously. And uh, when they do, they are breaking the uh, chemical bonds between either the two oxygens or the two hydrogens, and they're reforming bonds uh, between uh, an uh, oxygen atom and a hydrogen atom. So both of those things are going on, and the breaking of the bonds uh, release a whole lot of energy, of course, and that's what actually propels uh, these uh, uh, missiles. This is used instead of, for instance, uh, an internal combustion engine, because an internal combustion engine just doesn't have the uh, uh, buck, the uh, uh, boom for buck, if you will. Uh, and an internal combustion engine cannot produce enough force to propel uh, a missile and a space shuttle uh, away from the uh, Earth's gravity. Uh, these things can. There are also solid uh, propellant uh, engines uh, that do the same thing. I believe the Soviet Union actually specialized in uh, solid, uh, solid propellants rather than these. Uh, that's a, um, a, a type of reaction called combustion. And combustion is going on also in the internal combustion engines where the fuel uh, is not, as it were, hydrogen. Uh, in an internal combustion engine, the fuel is a mixture of hydrocarbons, octane, hexane, nonane, uh, long chains of carbons with hydrogen uh, atoms uh, attached to them. And where do we find them? We find them in uh, crude oil. That's why uh, crude oil is uh, worth as much as it is, because uh, it uh, can be refined into those things that uh, let us uh, put it around town all day. There are other reactions that are not so obvious. Some reactions, some chemical reactions happen without any noticeable change going on. Uh, the changes are going on, but they're going on at the molecular level or atomic level. Uh, other reactions give us some indication that something is going on. For instance, those precipitation reactions that we've seen in the uh, demonstration uh, videos, that precipitation uh, is an indication that uh, a chemical reaction is going on and that some of the products of the, of that, uh, the chemical reactions 
are uh, insoluble in uh, water, whereas the reactants were soluble in water. So that's one way to uh, figure out that a chemical reaction is going on. Another uh, 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 indicator of a chemical reaction going on uh, are those color changes that we saw in some of the other demonstrations. So a color change uh, is a, a clue that a chemical reaction uh, might be going on in the beaker. Uh, other indicators are uh, the production of energy, such as uh, those uh, chemiluminescent uh, reactions that we saw. The uh, light produced by those is an indicator that something's going on uh, in the way of a chemical reaction. Uh, heat, those uh, reactions that uh, we saw that went boom, uh, those reactions are producing uh, um, kinetic energy uh, that results in the sound of the boom uh, and uh, heat uh, that uh, results uh, sometimes in, th in the fireball uh, that we see, uh, shock waves and so on. So th there are plenty of indicators of uh, chemical reactions that uh, we see uh, in our everyday lives. So in this chapter, we're going to go through uh, various chemical reactions and classify them uh, as, uh, as in acid-base reactions or um, redox reaction, re uh, reduction oxidation reactions, uh, precipitation reactions, uh, gas forming reactions, all of the ways you can classify reactions. And at the end of the um, uh, chapter, there's a classification system uh, that is um, a, a, a little subtler. That's the system in which the reactions are either synthetic reactions, reactions that start out with more than one uh, thing, and the uh, product is a combination of uh, one or more uh, reactants. Uh, there are uh, uh, decomposition reactions, which is just the opposite. You start out with a molecule, it gets broken into uh, two molecules one way or another. Uh, there are um, substitution reactions uh, in which part of a molecule, uh, of one molecule, is uh, substituted for uh, by part of another molecule. Uh, and uh, finally, there's that double substitution uh, classification that we'll go into in uh, some detail. So I'll be talking about uh, some of the types of uh, chemical reactions uh, that are, have been uh, characterized and, uh, and what distinguishes them from other chemical reactions. But in general, all of these chemical reactions have in common the fact that they uh, are uh, caused by chemical bonds being broken between atoms of molecules or chemical bonds being, new chemical bonds being formed or uh, both in some cases. Now uh, the kindergarten volcano is where you add uh, baking soda with acetic acid. Acetic acid is the uh, technical term for vinegar. Vinegar is uh, made up of a uh, wa a water solution of acetic acid, and acetic acid is uh, one of the uh, simpler um, uh, um, uh, fatty acids, uh, as they're known. So acetic acid and uh, 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 baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, uh, combine, and when they do, they form carbon dioxide gas, water, and sodium acetate. Sodium acetate uh, uh, you can see uh, by the uh, by the name is ionic sodium ions and acetate ions acetate again is one of those polyatomic uh, anions uh, that uh, results when acetic acid is ionized that carbon dioxide gas is what makes the volcano erupt uh, the sudden appearance of a gas in a chemical reaction usually causes bubbles to, uh, to occur. And if you think about it, if you're starting out with a, a, a solution or with uh, two materials that uh, are not gaseous, then 
when a gas forms during the reaction, it's going to occupy a much larger volume than the reactants did. The, the reactants here are liquid and solid, respectively, and they generally uh, occupy much less volume than a gas is going to occupy. So that carbon dioxide gas is what makes the uh, kindergarten volcano go boof. So uh, it, the, the carbon dioxide bubbles out of the mixture. Uh, that is the, re, uh, the eruption. Reactions that occur in liquids and form a gas are called gas evolution uh, uh, reactions. I, uh, I, I forgot to mention the uh, exam, exam three. Did any, anybody see the, their points on Blackboard for exam three? Uh, it may be bogus. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, key that uh, the Scantron machine uh, used has some errors in it. So you may ha have more points than uh, you saw on Blackboard. So I apologize for the, uh, for the mistake. I'm going to go up uh, the first break that we have. Uh, they'll be open then. And I can uh, get the uh, Scantron sheets and the key and, and, and fix it and run it through, through the machine again. So I apologize. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I was uh, when I saw the uh, results because of these errors, uh, in part anyway, uh, they didn't look very good. And so yesterday I was singing the blues, going, where have I gone wrong? You know. Uh, so so it looks like it's going to uh, look better than um, I, it did yesterday. So I'll get back to this. So gas evolution reactions are one of the types that uh, are known. Uh, so uh, here's that internal combustion engine. The combustion part of it is, uh, the type, is a type of reaction, an important type of reaction. Uh, combustion reactions are responsible for the electricity all around us, uh, for the fact that we're uh, warmer than uh, we would be if we were sitting outdoors. Uh, combustion reactions generally are responsible for all of that. Eventually, some of the uh, 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 workload might uh, fall to uh, more renewable uh, types of energy, but for now, combustion uh, reactions are make the, uh, make the world go round. So anyway, in the engine, what's happening is that uh, octane and other hydrocarbons, uh, oct uh, is uh, um, uh, the Roman uh, word for eight. Octane has eight carbons, and everything else in the molecule uh, is hydrogens. So there is octane, nonane, that has nine uh, carbons, uh, hex, uh, hexane with six carbons, decane with ten. Uh, generally, gasoline is a mixture of uh, several of those hydrocarbons. They'll all react with oxygen. Uh, in what's called the combustion reaction. And in combustion, the oxygen is being uh, split and uh, the carbon atoms are being, as it were, ripped off of the molecule one at a time. And the combination of the oxygen with the uh, carbon uh, gives us carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is that greenhouse gas that uh, is so troublesome because uh, we're so dependent on uh, combustion of uh, coal and of, uh, uh, gasoline and so on uh, for our lifestyle. So carbon dioxide is one of the uh, uh, products and water is the other product. These are the two products that uh, will result from combustion of uh, hydrocarbons if the uh, uh, reaction goes to completion. By completion, I mean that every single carbon that we start out with will end up as carbon dioxide and the rest of it will end up as water and there won't be any side reactions. That's the ideal. Of course, uh, the combustion uh, reactions are never 100% efficient. There are side reactions and uh, those uh, side reactions produce things like carbon monoxide, uh, which is toxic, and uh, other uh, pollutants other uh, molecules that are unintended. They don't, uh, um, they actually reduce uh, the 
amount of uh, energy, usable energy, that we can get out of uh, combustion. And so if you have inefficient combustion, you end up with other products uh, besides carbon dioxide and water. But in a 100% efficient reaction, you would uh, uh, start out with oxygen and uh, hydrocarbon and end up with only carbon dioxide and water. Both of them at the temperatures that uh, they reach in an internal combustion engine leave the uh, exhaust uh, as uh, uh, gases. Water vapor and carbon dioxide, of course, uh, is always a gas. So here's the uh, chemical formula for octane. Uh, uh, eight carbons and 18 hydrogens. This is actually the space filling model of the thing. So uh, again, it's a component of gasoline. And uh, when it combines with molecular oxygen uh, from the air, uh, uh, carbon dioxide and water results. So uh, the combustion reactions are uh, a part of a larger classification of reactions, which are oxidation reduction uh, reactions. Uh, the definition for an oxidation reduction reaction, uh, which I'll be referring to as a redox reaction because that's the, that's the uh, shorthand uh, term for it. In a oxidation reduction reaction, electrons are being swapped between molecules. Uh, the molecule that's being reduced is the one that's receiving the electrons. So you can think of these two terms um, in, con in the context of the charge of the electrons. One molecule is getting electrons that it didn't have before. So its overall charge, its net charge, effectively is being reduced. So it's being reduced. On the other hand, the uh, molecule that, and there has to be a molecule to donate the atoms, of course, that molecule uh, is known, uh, what's happening to it is known as oxidation, just the opposite of uh, uh, reduction. So the charge of this, the uh, overall charge, is effectively more positive uh, than it started out with. So that's the broad category of reactions known as uh, oxidation reduction or redox. And particularly in metabolism, uh, there are many, many different uh, redox reactions going on. Uh, that's generally because the electrons represent or can be converted uh, into because of their position and uh, under certain circumstances, they can be uh, converted into energy or energy can be gotten out of them as a result of their position or whatever. Well, living things, uh, cells, are uh, they're all about energy. Uh, they are essentially using energy that starts out from the sun, goes through photosynthesis. We get it as sugar and protein and such. That energy is required by our cells on a moment-to-moment -moment basis uh, to stay alive. There's the concept of entropy means that our cells are constantly fighting the tendency of themselves and the whole universe to fall apart, to become disordered. Cells are extremely ordered things. They have huge negative entropy. And the only way they can maintain that negative entropy, that order, that high order, is to burn through a lot of energy. Uh, that's the only thing that's keeping us alive. And redox reactions are the way uh, the cells traffic that energy through uh, their components. And again, uh, 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 one example of redox uh, 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 reactions or oxidation reduction reactions uh, is this uh, combustion. And I'm sure I've already said that you can consider the, um, me the metabolism of glucose and uh, other nutrients as a slow combustion reaction overall. Generally, we're taking our uh, glucose and uh, other nutrients and we're combining it uh, with oxygen, effectively. It, it, this is way simplified. But in effect, overall, the um, respiration, cellular respiration that we do 
is a combustion reaction. And so overall, it's a redox reaction as well. Questions so far? Okay, I think this is a good time to take a break. I'll run up and get the uh, Scantron sheets and we'll continue.